All right, so the little one is obviously the 14 karat gold ingot, and the larger piece is sterling silver. It's been partially processed and forged out. Now, as you can see, um, I just wanted to lay them out so you can get a good idea of the differentiation of how actually diff of how different these two metals actually are in color. Uh, everybody assume everybody for some reason has this idea in their head, even me to some degree, that white gold is you know really a white metal. It's not. It's generally a gray metal. So that's why most white gold uh, jewelry, finished jewelry, is usually rhodium plated. Um, you don't do that with Makumagane, obviously. That would defeat the whole purpose. But that being said, so I promised you folks that I would be getting better at this, and I promise you that I will. I think I'm getting better a little. You know, the uh, the video portion. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> okay. So what we have here is my sloppy diagram, which in a minute I will explain. Okay, this represents the white gold ingot. All right, that particular ingot, let me just pan up a little bit more. Okay. That ingot is about 18 millimeters long and at its thinnest section, uh, you know, lengthwise, it's about six and a half millimeters wide, top to bottom. And at its thickest section, it is 6.85 millimeters wide. So, funny, right? We're going to run it through the mill. This is just, <laughs> I don't even know why I put that in there. The goal here is to bring it from that to draw it out into a sheet. So, here's how we're going to accomplish that. We're going to run it through the mill. We're going to take the jaws of the mill. And we're going to lower them to as close to 6.84 millimeters as we can. The goal is to get, as you can see... There's some space between the top roller and the, and the ingot until it gets to its widest point. Once it gets to its widest point, I know that the, that you wish it proportionately. Anyway, once it gets to its widest point, it'll stick in the jaws. So we're gonna stick, we're gonna, we're gonna crank the jaws down of the, of the mill just to the point where the thickest part of the billet cannot pass through. Not the billet, the ingot. Most of the ingot will pass right through, as you can see, without being touched until it gets to the part that's 6.85 millimeters. That's where it'll get caught up. We will then run, run it through the mill, and we will literally process a section of that material. So when we're looking at it from the top, okay, so we've just run it through the mill, let's say. This is the top, this is the area that'll be flat right there. Just that, so when looking at it from a bird's eye view, It'll have a small, tiny little circle right about there. That'll be nice and smooth and, and flattened out. From there, we crank the mill down a little bit more, a little bit more. Every time, we keep flipping it over and, and, and running it through. That space will widen out. And eventually, it will become so wide that it encompasses the entire piece. That's when we have it uniform. From that point, we go to that real quickly. So... I'm going to give you a little, I'll show you a little updates as I go. I'm not going to show you the entire milling process because, I mean, an hour and a half of somebody turning a handle is, is not too much fun to watch. However, I'll, sh I'll intermittently show you the piece, uh, the, the metal, as it comes out the other side. And you'll get to see it grow in real time. All right. So let's get that done now. Let's get that started. See, as you can tell, it's, it's, then there's that, there's the flat part that I, right on top of the, uh, the marker, as you can see, it's, there's a little streak in it. That's where the marker was, was aiming at the thickest part of the billet. That little flat part is w the only part that the mill is touching. So, as you can see, I'm cranking, watch, I'm going to crank it down just about that much. And then we're just going to continue to, Mill this out, mill this out until it gets longer. And draw it out. Not drop the phone. All right, first session is pretty much over. We're going to anneal it. We've got it milled out to that part, that point rather, and I'm going to be taking some measurements now, and we're going to get this going. So, right back. 